Um, so hello, Dean, and thank you so much for being here today. Dean McCowan from EFLUX. And um, I just want to tell everyone a little bit about the show and tell. So many people come to me and they go, Facebook doesn't work. It's a time waster. It stresses me out. I'm so overwhelmed. Or I hear the other side of it where they go, it does, um, it does absolutely, um, people say they know exactly what they're doing um, and they get a little bit of results, but that's all that's possible with Facebook. Um, so I want to show business owners out there that there are people who are successfully using Facebook in their business. And, um, and that is why I brought Dean on as my very first um, guest. So he doesn't mind what I'm about to share with you all. Um, actually, I might get him to share it. But Dean, how did, <laughs> <laughs> how did we meet, Dean? Okay, so last year I attended a networking event, so a morning breakfast event, which I'm not much of a morning person, but I dragged myself out of bed and um, I came across this spontaneous, outspoken, lovely lady who was called Chantelle Girardi. Who's that? Here she is. And she wanted to speak about Facebook and how Facebook could give leads and how Facebook, without having to pay for boosts, could give you, um, you know, money in your pocket in a business. And to be completely honest, I was a skeptic. I went, oh, I know Facebook. I'm pretty sure it's just a glorified yellow pages. Um, and it's a place where people can search your email, your website and your number and that's about it. However, when I actually started to dig a little bit deeper with Chantel, she said, look, why don't you just come along to one of my events? I'm running a, I'm running a workshop called uh, Facebook Strategy 101. Uh, am I right in saying yes, it was the 101? Yep, so 101. And it was all about how to start up your Facebook page, how to ensure you've got all the right settings in place, and a general, a general chat about how can we start to build some, um, some money coming into the business through unpaid Facebook. So I said, why not? You know, I'm always up for something new. So, uh, and I'm so glad I did, because that day, um, not only did Chantel show me how to utilise the Facebook, business platform but she literally <laughs> saved my butt <laughs> and when I say save my butt I mean saved all of my potential clients all of my friends and family from seeing a nudie Rudy <laughs> it literally took Chantel about three or four minutes on searching uh, she was doing what we call stalking so stalking my own profile it's almost like a reverse search so it's showing you what everybody that's searching for your business may see and Lo and behold, she pulled up a picture of my bottom. <laughs> and I was so embarrassed, I couldn't believe it. So straight away, um, Chantel then explained to me how I could prevent that from happening in the in future, how I can make sure that in the future, if I do have posts that I wanted to keep you know, in my own albums that no one else can see, um, how to change all my preferences. So, um, you know, the first tip was stalk yourself. I do remember that one, stalk yourself so you know what the clients are seeing. So um, first of all, thank you so much for saving me. <laughs> no, I always find it incredibly um, funny when I say to people, you know, do you, ha do you, um, do you, uh, I actually asked you, do you have a personal profile? And you said to me, no, I don't. And I remember finding like three profiles <laughs> in a couple of seconds going, well, here's a profile, here's a profile, here's a profile. Um, and this is what I can see. Um, and that seems to be a man thing. They seem to always set up multiple profiles. So instead of going and logging in each time with their um, email login and their password, they always just create a whole new account because it's bigger than the login button. So they just go like to the bigger part and go, okay, I'll just create a new account, uh, which creates multiple, multiple profiles. So um, yeah, so it was really, really cool, literally saving your butt. So my next question is, um, you spoke, uh, you said a thank you the other day at a networking group um, for um, how I have helped you to grow your Facebook page, your business page. Um, so could you tell us how many, how, how many likes has it grown to and possibly how has that happened? How have you done it? Okay, dokie. So um, first of all, uh, 12 months ago, the, the EFLOX business page had uh, roughly about 1,100 followers and the, site, the page had been running for about four years. Um, just for, that's just from memory, uh, so don't quote me on it. But uh, so we're, we're about 1,100 uh, followers, and I was like, you know what? I really want to get involved with you know our current clients. I, want, I looked at our uh, who's been viewing our pages, and I realised that it wasn't a lot of our current clients. And I thought, well, maybe I should start trying some of these um, strategies that Chantel's been talking to me about in terms of tagging people 
you know, it's tagging my network. So when I'm, when I'm sending out, if I'm reposting a, one of our eFlux page posts, tagging people in it who I think might be interested in it and getting it up on their Facebook page. You know, um, having a bit more of a conversation, making it a social page. So instead of being just an informative, um, you know, this is information for you. This is what Office 365 is. This is what cloud computing is. This is what IT is. Changing it to looking at the social aspect of the business. So this is who we are. These are the people in the business. This is what we do. This is what we do in our social time. This is what we do when we're getting out together and having, whether it be having a game of football, whether it be, you know, uh, doing an event together, whether it be going rock climbing or go-karting, like showing people what we do, not just the IT aspect of it. And through that, we've grown, we've just added 500 new members to our Facebook page in the last 12 months. And 100%, I couldn't have done it without implementing some of the strategies that Chantel has been talking to me about, like social, social, social. Like I can't remember how many times you banged on about it being a social <laughs> network. <laughs> Make it social, dude. <laughs> so the thing is, I mean, lucky you're a social dude. But um, so this is about forming genuine relationships with people, genuine trustworthy relationships and at making meaningful connections with people so that the people that are on there are 500 genuine people who are interested in what it is that you do. They're not bought, they're not borrowed, um, they are all real people and um, they genuinely are interested in what it is that you do and they're engaged and want to be a part of, um, of your business and what it is that you do. Um, so that's super cool. Thank you so much for sharing. Pleasure. So, um, so I see that you've set up your services. So I'm going to screen share and we're going to go through to your page. Um, and you're happy to see my desktop is relatively clean. Oh, it's very clean. I'm very impressed. <laughs> All these messages from people. There we go. So this is just showing the, uh, everyone the eFlux the e -flux page, Facebook page. Um, and if we go down over here, we'll just have a look at their services. So since Dean was talking about uh, being social, um, I had a look at the services over here that he set up um, after we've had a chat um, and he's nailed it again. Because when people set up their services, I say to them, you have to use the language of the clients, remembering that your input into your Facebook page, uh, what you input tells the algorithm uh, what it is that you do. So when other people are searching, it actually brings people together. So over here, managed services. Okay, well, that makes sense. Let, you know, let's take the head out out of your computer network. Um, let the fucks be the pen dolls. There's a bit of um, humor in there. You know, let us help you manage service and repair your entire um, fleet of computers for one monthly price. It's not fluffy. It 100% says what it is that you guys do, which makes it very easy for anybody stalking online or looking for a service to digest it. And that's been my word in the last week. It needs to be easily digested. Um, so I just thought I'd just scroll through here and just show everybody a list of these services and what it is that they do and have a look at the way that they have expressed it in a social non salesy way. Um, which is pretty cool, pretty awesome. Um, we'll take you through over here just to have a little stalk of their posts, some of the posts that they've been doing. Um, and you can see that they're running a competition here. And you can see at the top here, they have pinned it to the top. There is a competition running there and it is unpaid. You can see that it's not a sponsored ad. They are just doing it from their page without paying. All right. And you can see over here that it's got some traction, 28 comments, lots of engagement and 11 shares. Um, oh, that's us <laughs> down there, which is pretty cool. We can see ourselves. <laughs> being ourselves. Uh, so this is what Dean was talking about earlier, about allowing the audience, the online audience to actually have a look at uh, their team members, fun facts about the people. Because like I said to Dean, okay, IT is not sexy. <laughs> So in order to make it digestible from the audience, you have to make it a little bit sexier for them. And over here, you can see these super geeks over here, um, dressing up, being the larrikins that they are, but building deep, meaningful relationships and allowing us to be part of their marketing, which is really cool. 
Remind me to smack Kelly for texting me while I'm working. <laughs> he knows I'm on right now. Kelly, get off. Um, so this is the push-up challenge. Do you want to tell everyone about the push-up challenge? Uh, yeah. So, uh, so the push-up challenge was a um, was a uh, initiative that we did within the uh, the entire Eflux group. Uh, that was to raise some money for the Headspace community, which is uh, under twenty five youth mental health awareness. So, mental health awareness in uh, you know a lot of our friends and families' lives. It's, we've all been touched by it. So, uh, the managing director Daniel asked if we'd all get involved, and across uh, twenty one days. We did near on 3, 000, just over 3,000 push-ups in, uh, in the entire group. So we ended up raising uh, just shy of $1,000 for Headspace, which was, uh, I think, with the efforts from the entire team. And for, uh, through Facebook, we, we gained some massive traction. I think we had about $700 of that all come from Facebook friends that I shared the push-up challenge with. I said, hey, look, this is what we're doing with the Facebook page. I shared it out and I tagged people and I asked them if they would get involved and donate just a dollar or two. But uh, yeah, so we got 900. So it was a pretty good initiative and Facebook really helped us push it through. And it was free Facebook. Didn't cost us a cent. Excellent. Um, I was just scrolling down here, just showing people the page. Um, over here, you can see there's a post over here with lots of wires. I know that that would scare the shit out of me <laughs> and would definitely evoke action out of me to go and get your services, which is something I always speak about. But what I noticed here is you always tag or get your clients involved in your marketing, kind of like I'm doing right now. Yeah. Um, because it builds trust and it's part of social proof. And social proof is one of the things that people need to see. They need to see other people benefiting from your service so that they get, they get the confidence to take the next step and engage your services. So, um, yeah, well done. So is the, uh, this is Daniel over here, the owner. So I'll just show you over here. Let's have a look. It's so the video content because obviously we know video marketing is really good and you guys have done a great job because you've got captions, which is important for video. Um, so is there any other ways, Dean, that you would like to tell us that you have been using Facebook um, to generate a result? Some of the other day-to-day -day things that you do because what people don't understand is that it's an ongoing process. As part of any business growth or marketing, um, it is important for us to see this as marketing and an ongoing thing that we need to include in our day-to-day -day business to keep it going. You can't go on once a month and expect to get a result. Well, that, was, that, that, really, that really nails what you just said there. You can't go on once a month and expect for a result. That was something that uh, I really took away from it, from the 101, and it was working out when your clients are online. So utilizing the back end of Facebook and working out whether your clients are online on a Monday morning or a Friday afternoon or a Wednesday midday, which you know, they just happen to be the times that our clients are mostly on online. So we've tailored our and scheduled our posts to come out on the, for a month in advance. We schedule it just like in face. Uh, I think it's Facebook 102. I think you talk about the um, the scheduling tools. Yep. Um, yep. Yep. So we now use the scheduling tools to schedule out two to two to four weeks in advance, depending on how how uh, how organised I am for the month. Uh, but we make sure we check those analytics and look at when are the clients on. How many clients are on, and a bulk of ours are Monday mornings, Friday afternoons, and Wednesday lunchtime. So we—that's one thing that we've implemented in the last 12 months as well. Now, the second thing that I'm doing is I'm using my personal Facebook, so Dean McCowan, to push the word of Eflux, because although no one really likes to sell to their friends or family, you can do it organically. You can do it by just popping your your post from the business page onto your personal page, and it lets people know what you do. Because my mother doesn't really know how, how I fix computers. My auntie doesn't know how I fix an iPhone. But she now knows that I do. And if she has a problem, she can give me a call and I can help her out. But I didn't have to bore her with how I do it. I just showed this is a result that I got. This is what I did for a client. So product image, that brings me to the next one, product images. So you would have saw the, the, the photos that Chantel showed of the um, before and after picture of that terrible wired mess. That was a before photo for a client that we then tidied up and the after photo. So it shows what the outcome is of what we do and it doesn't bore you with all the technical jargon. Yeah, 100%. Um, so a couple of things, I was just writing notes, that's so why my arm's moving like this. Um, a couple of things um, that, are, that came to front of mind is, is that you always go in and you always respond and you always have good etiquette and you're not always constantly just 
taking on Facebook, but you're also engaging and sharing on Facebook as well. So when you do go in and you are, you know, responding to clients or looking at clients, but you're also sharing your clients' stuff as well and getting involved with it. You know, if I've got a workshop, you'll be sharing it. So you're also supporting your online community as well. So you're not just coming from a space of me, 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 but what can I do to help the other people around me um, that are involved, you know, or support me as well. So it's a two way thing, which is really, really cool. Um, the other thing that what, what the engagement that's in there and you respond because most people go they schedule and they leave it and they actually don't go back and see who's actually asking questions or responding um, and that's super important because the purpose of being on there and creating the content is to get engagement which means you then have to um, you know answer them you've got to give them the respect by by engaging back um, and the other thing that you mentioned was the personal profile, which a lot of people are fearful of using. Um, firstly, not everyone sees everything. For some reason, people think that if you go and put 10 posts out in a day, you're going to see all 10. You won't. You'll only see the things that you engage in because that's how the algorithm works. So you might only see one of that that you're actually interested in. And if you do want to see stuff on Facebook, you need to engage in it. If I want to see more uh, pictures about dogs. I need to engage in pictures about dogs because then more stuff about dogs will come up. So it's important that we know how that works. Um, and that, and when you spoke about your mom, um, you know, like you said, people don't really know what it is that you do. So sharing success stories is really cool, but it also keeps you forefront. Let's admit it. Okay. There's noise everywhere. There is noise and there's crazy people and everyone marketing. There's so much branding going on everywhere. The only way to stay forefront of mind or to remind people that you're there is to pop up occasionally and just remind them by saying, this is what I do and this is how I can help you. Or this is how I've helped someone else. So um, some great, great points there, Dean. Yesterday when we were talking, I said to Dean, you could just run the show all on your own. <laughs> Oh, just thank make you. Sure you have your pants on. <laughs> that, with my pants on. Well, that 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 front of mind piece that you were just speaking about is a really big one for you know for our industry because it's so it's such a saturated industry. There's lots of IT providers out there, but util, utilizing Facebook. So when someone's flicking through on their lunch break and it pops up with an an e you know something I've tagged on eFlux or something that Dean's got on his face that eFlux is doing. It's just that branding process where it's just popping popping the brand in front of someone's face so when they need the service they'll think of eflux yep. can i touch on tagging quickly yeah 100 percent, please yeah cool so, show, Dean. <laughs> well something that i got really involved in because of chantelle's 101 was um getting my my i guess my face-to-face -face networks involved with my online networks yes so sending out the invitation to you know everyone that i you know, talk to on a monthly basis, like sending them out a link to say, hey, jump on our Facebook so they know what the Facebook address is. And this is really important because when someone's flicking through the classifieds or one of those uh, business, 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 or, um, you know, small business Queensland um, feeds, there's lots of questions in there about, hey, who can help me with, you know, with this IT issue or who can help me with my car that's broken down. And because I've actually given everybody in my network the link to our facebook page they can so easily just type in the at symbol with eflux after it and it automatically puts our facebook page up there and that gives us a recommendation which again then comes through the facebook platform i get a notification on my phone and i can contact that person who's looking for that service at the exact time it's really simple yeah, excellent. Um, and what you said over there is, is so important as well, is that we can't just presume that everybody's at the same level on Facebook as everyone else. Um, how have we lost you again? You just well, yeah, it just says my name, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm the host now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Hi, Mum. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It just disappeared. Anyway, while you're there, because we'll just be finishing off soon. So sorry, I know we love to watch you, but I don't know why that is doing. Oh, there you are, you're back. Technical glitch. Um, what you mentioned over there is that you can't assume that everybody knows is at the same level as you with Facebook. So you actually have to tell people and you actually have to ask. If you want a review, you have to ask them and then you've got to show them how to do that. You can't just say, here we go, go do that. It's the same with if you want them to like your page, you have to make it easy for them. You have to provide the links. You've got to remind them where to go. You've got to show them how to access it. Um, so you've got to know where you're sending people because if you don't know, they're going to get lost. And if they get lost or it's too hard, they're just going to go to the next best option. Um, so Dean, how can people connect with you? 
Um, and how would you like to, uh, what are you looking for in a client? Let's do that. What are you looking for in a client? Uh, someone that has a problem. Someone that has a problem they don't know how to fix. You know, we're a group they of problems. We're, we're, I've been helping you with those ones. You know that. <laughs> we're, we're a team of problem solvers. So uh, an ideal client for us is someone that knows where they want to be, but is unsure how to get there. So creating that IT strategy or getting the right piece of equipment into their business to get them to where they want to be. So and keeping up with all the, the changes and the trends that are happening. Like a client that say hasn't updated their computer for five years and is looking to move into a cloud or to try something a little bit different or wants to utilize a system like this, like a Zoom system. You know, someone who wants to change the way that they're doing business to benefit themselves and save them time. That's the ideal person for us. And then someone who's time poor and wants more of it, we can help you get that back. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> I know I messaged uh, Dean this morning and I was like, my daughter, she's messed her computer. She hasn't saved anything. She hasn't updated anything. Should I buy another one or should I get it, should I get it fixed? Uh, you know, what should I do? And he's like, oh, you could do this, you could do this, you could do this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, thank goodness, because I was, I've, got, I've got twins and they both need a laptop. So that would have been two laptops just before I'm about to go to South Africa. Not cool. Not so, ideal. <laughs> um, so what is the best way for them to connect with you, Dean? Look, we're, we're on Facebook. We're on Facebook. So if you, if you go to facebook.com forward slash eFlux, that's our page. So it's really simple, E-F-L-U-X. That's how you spell efflux. And you can, con you can connect with us there. You can see what all our team are doing. You can send us questions. We'll respond in a timely manner. Uh, if you want to jump on our website, you can also go to that. Very simple again, efflux, E-F-L-U-X, dot com, dot A-U. And you can, send us a, you can ask us a question from our online portal. Or again, Facebook is really simple. We're all on Facebook here today. So, you know, why not jump on the Facebook page? We'll, um, I'll chuck the Facebook page in the comments as well. Excellent. Yeah, so what I've said to everyone who's watching or not watching and going to watch at a later, later stage, that right now, today, tomorrow, the next day, the live is there. So if anyone wants to write a comment, go into the comment below the live um, and write the question. If the question is for me, then at Chantel Gerard, and hyperlink it so it turns blue. That way I'll get a notification to say that I've been asked a question and I won't miss it. And to get Dean, just go at Dean McCowan and he will pop up as well and it'll be a hyperlink blue. So he'll get a notification to say there's a question there for him. So we can still answer your questions. Alternatively, yes, Stephanie, jump on, like their page. They will share it down below as well. Connect with them. Hopefully they can help you. And if anybody's needing help with their Facebook, they know where to go. Have an amazing day. And thank you again, uh, Dean, for coming on. Thanks for having me. Cheers, everyone, for joining.